If you're with Digital Underground in the 80s and you're going to those concerts, are you hanging with Tupac? Because <laughs> he was there. Yeah, actually, yeah. Before Pac came in, though, um, there was another guy there named, I think his name was Colin, and he was Money B's actually blood brother, his little brother. Huh. And one day they came up to uh, Hollywood and I went to see Money B. And I look, oh, hey, where's your brother? He's like, oh, no, he's not here with us, man. We got one of Shock G's guys, um, Pac. You know, he's he's doing it now. He goes, why don't you go over there and say what's up to him? And I'm like, what room is he in? Yeah, whatever. I don't remember the room number, but I, I walked over there and knocked on the door. And there's Tupac on the phone with some girl. And he answers the phone. And I'm like, hey, Pac, I'm Money B's home. We send. Uh, I'm from Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill. We used to say Cypress Hill Tribe back then. <laughs> and he tells the girl on the phone, "Baby, I'm gonna call you back. The weed is here." <laughs> so, so he, and he, he, Muddy B must have told him we had weed. So uh, he hung up the phone. We sat down. I think we we're watching a basketball game, and and we started talking. And he tells me a little bit about himself and. And he goes, man, uh, you know, Muddy B and guys speak really well about you guys. And you guys got the hell of smoke and blah, blah, blah. And, and that was my beginning friendship with Pac right there that, um, you know, we didn't see each other a lot in those days. And we didn't talk a lot. But every time we did get together, it was all to the good. It was all love and smiles and laughter and shit, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and you know, it was, uh, I remember exactly where I was at. Uh when I heard the news that he had passed away, I was at the grocery store in line, about to pay, and it came over the intercom radio that from the the, the, the supermarket store was paying. The, really? Was paying. Yeah, yeah. On the, on the you know the five o'clock news, and uh, finally, the rapper Tupac Shakur passed away from me. I was like, oh wow. You I kind of just felt like a ton of bricks landed on top of me at the point. Like that's crazy. You know, I was breathing heavy, and I was like, oh man, fuck. Yeah, my, so that's- my my dad was uh my dad was a uh, a Jewish educator when I was growing up. He was not. I mean, my dad was not a hip at all. He would say people's names very funny, and I remember him saying like, "You know a Tupac Shucker," and I'm like, "Shucker." I was like, "You mean Tupac?" <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, Shakur, Shak- Shakur." Sh-. He, you know, he's like he was struggling with it. I'm like, "Tupac, yeah, what up?" He's like, "I believe he passed away." Like the way he said it, and I was like. When Tupac died? Like I was like crushed. Oh, and then and then and then like two months later, like a couple months later, he's like, you know a uh, notorious big. And I was like, oh no. I already know he's dead. What happened, you know? Yeah. 